it's time. This is the MMA neighborhood. What's good? I'm Devin. And I'm Steven. And we are back Cheer. with the post of USC 251 Fight Island. Sorry, we're a little Ooh. late. <laughs> we're a little late. We're, sorry about that. But, you know, weeks gone by and the fights are, you know, they're still in our minds, though. And we yes. had. Usman versus Maslow is the main event of the evening. That's right. And uh, a couple other championships on this card as well. Oh, three to be exact. Yeah. And so the card was stacked and it did deliver. And the first yeah. fight on this card. Well, didn't you want to bring up something in the oh, prelims? You're totally right. The prelims. Yes. So I was, uh, before we get started, there's a prelim. The main of the prelims was Ozmir versus this guy named Jerry, I believe. Yeah. And dude, this guy was, he was a. He's a champion in another organization. He has a lot of hype behind him. He has a shit ton of finishes, right? Yeah. And he went into the fight against Ozmir. Ozmir is ranked number seven light heavyweight right now, okay? So yeah. I'm like, I'm not counting out Ozdemir. I don't know who the hell this new guy is. <laughs> but he came in like hands down, fucking dancing around. I, I was kind of pissed off. I was like, this guy is <laughs> fucking serious right now. This is the UFC as real as it gets. Damn. This guy comes in acting like foolish clown. And I'm like, this is Ozdemir, dude. That's no time, bro. He's about to knock you out. Yep. So they're fighting right. They're exchanging no time. He's landing some shots every time this guy gets a little, little weird with it. So I'm like, oh, he's going to get caught, dude, right? First round goes by. I, I give it to Ozemir. Second round comes in. This cool. This fool lights up Ozemir. Lands a head kick on him. Yeah. All right. New boy lands a head kick on Ozemir. <laughs> rocks him and finishes this boy with some right with a right hand. Damn. I'm like, holy shit, what just happened? So I'm kind of hyped on this guy, Jerry, light heavyweight. Jerry takes on a rank seven opponent on his USC debut, bro. And knocks Ooh. him out round two. Yeah, that was a little trippy. So I just want to make a shout out. Keep your eye on that guy. All right, all right. He's, he's he ain't playing, I guess. He ain't playing. I will definitely keep my eye out on that because yeah. I didn't miss the prelims. You missed the prelims, but did you see the first five main card, my sir? You know what? I <coughs> surely did. And we's talking about Amanda Ribas. 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 Some whatever. Versus Paige Van Zant. Well, 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 well. The twelve gauge well. Paige. The one that said, "I'm gonna come out and show you guys all what I could really do." And she got submitted in the first round. Oh, <laughs> straight to it, huh? She just, she just shot her in the face for the tall guys. I know? mean, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> no, honestly, um, she was trying to prove she was valuable to the UFC, and sh she spoke out a lot about it. She yeah. wanted more money, and she didn't, she didn't uh, deliver at all. No. And it's Amanda Hebas, and this girl honestly has my respect. I didn't know she was the first one to finish uh, Mackenzie Dern, beat Mackenzie Dern. Really? In her last fight. And then now I really know her name because she looked outstanding yeah. against 12 Gauge Page. I mean, totally outclassed her. Wow, it was it was easy money for yes. for the Hebas, and she looked she was having fun afterwards. She's dancing, screaming. The girl's got great energy, and I'm sold, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. She took Paige's <laughs> arm again. Hopefully, Paige didn't break her arm for a twentieth time. How horrible would that be? Honestly, how horrible would that be? Ah. Uh, I know, right? Just came out of the cast, and then boom! That's probably why she tapped faster than normally she, than she normally does. Oh, uh, she probably didn't want to fuck fucking risk it. Yep, but it was a bad situation. She locked in that arm bar, and it was nasty. Yeah, it was done for. Yeah, I mean, all right. So he was took Paige down. Yep. Paige was trying to escape. You know, so mm -hmm. she gave up the back. She's kind of going around. He was. I think he was had her in a headlock choke on the ground. Paige Van Zandt was trying to go out the back door, and then somehow he just didn't let her escape. Yeah. Then it was Trapped her arm. Yeah. And tap, tap. There you go. Kibbity tap. That's all she wrote. And is that a tap out of the UFC as well? Or? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, shit. Maybe because of how much crap she was talking in the Dana White <laughs> response saying, you know, win fucking fights and, you know, you get paid more or some shit like that. I can't really remember verbatim. Mm -hmm. But this loss, and now Paige Van Zandt's like, I don't think the UFC is going to re-sign me, mm -hmm. is what I just read. Yeah, I heard, because so, she was talking so much, Dana White was like, well, she can go test a free agency now, you know? Yeah, so she kind of, what, what would you say, shot herself in the foot. Ah, nope, nope. <laughs> you're a good one. That's good, that's good. <laughs> no pun intended, mm -hmm. but, you know, she kind of fucked herself, like, talking all that shit, and she didn't back it up. She lost horribly in the first fucking round well, submit by submission hopefully she didn't lose her foot she can always still go dance fucking a but honestly <laughs> hey she <go> <laughs> <laughs> honestly 
Sorry, I don't mean to disrespect. She's cool. She's she's done work, but I don't know. She's been out so long. The game's passing her up, and which is unfortunate. Yeah, it is. But I think there's other things for her in this life. And yeah, if she does want to continue to fight, Bellator is not a bad spot. So let's we'll yeah. see if she hops on board over there. Some some would even say better. Ooh. But I but but some. hey I, <laughs> hey hey. Okay. I guarantee you there's, there's there's people out there that's like, Bellator's way fucking better. Mm, maybe females. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. I, I you, can't, you can't speak for everyone in the world. I wouldn't agree with that. I wouldn't agree with it either. Ever. I'm just saying. But, there's possibly yeah, there people. There could be some. There yes. could be some there that feels be like Bellator's way fucking better than UFC. <laughs> way better. Hey, well, pay was. Maybe she can get paid better. You never know. Exactly. Possibly. But he was, bro. She's hot right now. She's hot. Any, any uh, future predictions for her? Not the not on top of my head. I want I want to see her fight like Angela Hill, or um, or or, or Karate Hottie, or something Ooh, like that. Let's I would like to see that. Skin in that. Skin that. Let's right? get in that. All right. But Go on. We have another cool. beautiful woman fight. Handle it. And this it <laughs> could have been, should have been, a championship <laughs> fight in my opinion. And this is Rose Namahunas versus Jessica Andrade in the rematch that everybody was anticipated to watch. Dude, I was the I was super psyched for this fight, and it did not disappoint. Yeah, did it, not disappoint at all. No, it didn't. It? <clears throat> Maybe to you. Uh, <laughs> I no, I wasn't disappointed actually at all either. I think. I mean, your pick lost, so uh, I did lose, but not by a lot. She was lost what? by split decision, my boy. First of all, the <laughs> split okay. decision, my boy. Homie, homie. First of all, Rose Namajunas was. Piecing her the fuck up, like, most of the fight. Most of the fight. Okay. I think it wasn't until, like, maybe, like, the fourth or fifth round. There's only three in this one. <laughs> oh, wait. Am I tripping? Yeah. It's okay, not. maybe it was the third. <laughs> it was the third. Because <laughs> you said championship fight. You fucking threw me That's off, fucker. It should be. Yeah, it should be. You threw, threw my there. ass off. I'll get No, there. but, okay. So, let me take that back. <laughs> the third round. I, was it the second or third round, then? That Jessica Andrade like started turning turning it up hard, mm-hmm. and then she just fucking nails Rose right in the face and fucked her mm-hmm. nose up. Yes, that's when like before I think that was the third round because I think the first and second round now. Okay, I remember correctly now. Yeah, but yeah, it's coming back to you. Home. It's been a week. <laughs> no, no, you're right. It's been, um, it's been like longer than a week. Yeah, a week and a day. A week and a day. Yeah. A. Well, no, you're right. The first two rounds were Rose, and yeah. she was. She was doing what she did best. She was tagging and moving, getting in and out. And um, but you know, in my honest opinion, maybe I'm being biased. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, it looked like she wasn't looking as good as she was in the first fight against Andrade. I think Andrade threw her off. She was throwing some good head movement. Andrade was moving that head, bobble mm-hmm. head, and weaving. Mm-hmm. And I don't think Rose was as good with her timing as she was in that first fight. Well. I think Jessica Andrade was overdoing it with the head movement. Maybe. Over fucking doing it. Like, I don't know. What what are you doing? You're doing all this fucking head movement and nothing. Yeah. I mean, it could have been a little less, I guess. But it was working. I think it was helping her throw off Rose's game. Somewhat. It's not what um, did it, though. In the third round is when shit changed. And that's when Jessica did tag Rose. Cracked her in the nose. Yeah, big time. Cracked her in the freaking head, in the eye. Yeah. Basically, black eye busted the nose up. Yeah, she fucking and turned it on. And I think she on. dropped her almost. Oh, I can't remember. I do remember her doing a, a judo throw, getting her on the ground. Yeah. <clears throat> landing some ground and pound. And then Rose got back up in the third round, and it was she was taking some huge hits, man. Now, here's my opinion. Do you think, because I think if it would have went five rounds the fight might have had a different outcome for sure i, I think, think rose uh, would have fucking knocked her uh, out <laughs> nice fuck <laughs> nice fuck <laughs> what does it make neighborhood things i think if this fight was five <laughs> rounds i think jessica Andrade was taking it dude no i think i think rose still would have won it wow. in decision but it would have been uh unanimous instead of a split bro she was getting beaten that third round hard it wasn't just <sighs> a good third round it was a beating and uh, she almost lost split decision, bro. I don't know about that. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. All I know is I feel like five rounds would have made a different night. That's my opinion. They should have just made this fight five yeah, rounds. Yeah, I feel like we got robbed of a whole fight right there. Well, at least half a fight. Half a fight, correct. Yeah. Correct. But Rose uh, ended up victorious. So where'd she go from here? Did she fight Shining Long? Dude, she- I'd be 
down. Yeah. I'd be down. Down, Are you huh? kidding me? I think she's got it, dude. I think. Okay, no. We got to do some MMA math right here. I think here. Wei Li Long has it, got it. Hold on. MMA math. <laughs> uh, Hawana went, I think, one versus Zhang Wai Li. Zhang you know Wai what I'm saying? Li. Now we want. Now we we possibly thinking maybe seeing Rose Namajunas versus Zhang Wai Li, yeah. who beat Hawana twice. So MMA math. But a bing, bada boom. Hawana almost beat Zhang. Rose beat Hawana. Rose is gonna win versus Zhang Wiley. Boom. No. MMA math. MMA math doesn't work. Because <laughs> simple as this: Joanna beat Andraj, and Andraj beat Rose. So I mean, but that was ah, oh, don't get that shit. Get out of here. That's, 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 There's your MMA math. That doesn't even make. That doesn't even make sense. Done. But Zhang Wiley. That's just negligent. I think Zhang Wiley smokes Rose, bro. bro no, dude. Sorry, dude. Rose is Rose would piece her up, dog. Oh, no, bro. Piece her up. She didn't look as good as I thought Man, she you, was. You're just mad. I think and everybody's sour. overhyping her. I think she's a little overhyped. Are you? I, I think she's overhyped. I would give you. I would just be quiet right now <laughs> and just look at you. Well, but, everybody's all over. But we're doing not, a podcast everybody's right now. Everybody's so all I can't over be quiet. right now. Everybody's all over right now. She what? almost got knocked out in that third round. Let's be she, real. She, she did not. She was getting hurt. She got. Man. I'm not. I will give you this. She got hit hard well, as fuck. Did you see Zhang Wali? She swings hard too. That chick. Did you see what Zhang Wali did to Jessica Andrade? Holy, she smoked her in one round. Who hasn't beat Jessica Andrade? But she smoked her in a round. Not that's never happened, bro. And Zhang Wali, scary. That's a scary fight for Rose, bro. Dude, we'll see. Rose takes that. Honey. We'll see, bro. I can't wait. If I hope they book that next. R- me too. I hope so. For Jessica Easy. Andrade, I just have no idea what's next for. Yeah, she's gonna take a minute. Mm-hmm. Take a minute. Not bad though. Not a bad fight. No. But she, I, she, did you see? They got five tonight. You believe? Do you think that deserved that? I don't. I'll tell you why right now. I don't know. I'm iffy on that. I'll tell you why right now. Because the next fight is my fight tonight, Ooh. and that is the first championship fight tonight for the bantamweight USC bantamweight championship of the world. We had Jose Auto versus Peter Yawn. Bro. Wow, because uh, Henry Cejudo vacated it. Now it was up for grabs, and uh, they had it. Jan definitely deserved it, and Otto had his lucky chance, and he did not get the belt. Thank but God. it wasn't easy. It was a five-round fucking war, and I loved this fight. How yeah. about you, bro? How I did, you did like love this? it, and I was honestly surprised of how well Jose Aldo did. To be honest, mm-hmm. I'm surprised he did so well. Um, he was throwing some good leg kicks over Peter Yon's mm, way. Yeah, very good leg kicks. He even like knocked him down. Like he, he, he hit spun his leg. around he like spun a ballerina, him. dude. He fuck, yeah. he was swiping that leg, bro. But Peter Yon, you know, came victorious at the end in the fifth round to uh, what TKO. Yeah, TKO. it should have been stopped if you. Dude, it should have been stopped. Like Jesus, that went on way too long. Way too long. At first, because the referee, it got stopped in the fifth round by ground and pound, but mm-hmm. Jose Aldo was facing the ground, and Peter Yan was just beating the back of his head. And, you know, about 30 shots in, I'm like, okay, this is, you know, Aldo's getting, Aldo's getting his head dribbled off the ground very nicely oh. right now. But then after the 50th shot, I was like, okay, they can stop the fight now. <laughs> they just didn't do it. The yeah, ref I- would not wait. There was blood everywhere. So much blood. And the ref just said, just bleed! <laughs> bleed more! He wanted fatality. <laughs> Finish him. The ref dude, so was Shing Shong, dude. Ridiculous. The Shing Shong ref <laughs> would so not ridiculous. stop this fucking fight, dude, until someone died. Otto almost gave his life for us, bro. Dude, you're so ridiculous. <laughs> it was crazy, dude. Why? Fight of the night. <laughs> Why the Conor McGregor? You're dribble nice. I see. I noticed it. Oh, my God. God. Oh, man. But, all right, the credit to Otto, like you said, those leg kicks were oh, crazy. Yeah. He looked great. The second round, bro, mm-hmm. I, I thought Peter Yon was got to lose the fight. Yeah, it was not. It was very even. It was very even. It was even. And this is what actually really surprised me the most in this fight was how Peter Yon fucking was able to adapt to it and totally changed mid-fight because mm-hmm. Otto took out Peter Yon's lead leg in the second round. Yeah. The first round, Peter Yon landed some great right hands, rocked Otto a little bit, 
and Peter Don even got him on the ground and landed some ground pound. Atlanta shot to his ribs, looked like he was dude, hurting, dude. That was a good dude, fucking hit. It was, and that was just the first round, dude. That was, it looked like he, so, he it looked like Aldo was hurt. He was, bad. and it almost ended. Then the second round comes, and Aldo's chewing Jan's leg up for yep. dinner. Jan has to switch to southpaw. Yep. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm <laughs> like, no way. The whole second round, he's getting tagged because he's throwing left hands, and he's getting countered by Aldo. Then the third round, I'm like, fuck, dude, I left hand. Is, this is, what is he doing? It took me a while to notice his leg's done. Yeah. So I'm like, holy crap, he has to go southpaw. His right hand was his weapon. Now he doesn't have it. And that's what impressed me the most is, he changed his stance, and he beats Aldo with a left hand when he's fucking right-handed. I was like, wow. He literally beat him unorthodox. Yep. I was like, that's that's pretty impressive, man. Dude, it was a great fight. It was. Aldo, Very Aldo even. I think, burnt out. He just couldn't keep up with the pace near the end. And uh, Jan was landing some really clean shots. Yeah. He can land with the right or left. That dude's freaking – he's badass. Well, you, you pointed out the most important factor – is uh, the ability in that fight, Peter Yan, to adjust, and that saved it for him. Yeah. You know, he adjusted properly and was able to make the corrections and ended up fucking getting him to the ground, TKO him, fighting him back, and just basically, you know, fucking him up. Yeah. And that was good he, job. He did it, dude. He had a little scare a little bit. Yeah. But, wow. Amazing. Now. Go ahead. But. Do we finally get what I we have been I mean, asking for? I hope so, man. But I don't okay. know. Okay. I don't know so, but I hope so. So I want Aljamain Sterling versus Peter Yan. Yeah. That should be the next title fight for the Bantamweight title. Right. But what I've been hearing is fucking uh Morale Marias Mor- and Marais. Garbrandt. What? Marias fighting Garbrandt. Oh shit! They were saying Marais versus fucking Peter Yon, so he has a fight. Garbrandt and Marais are fighting. Oh, that means Al Jermaine's in line, or dog. Or it's the winner of that. No, nah, fuck that. It's I, all Al Jermaine, bro. I hope. I believe Sterling deserves it. But well, they do have the Marais and Garbrandt fight set up. Dude, there's no way. That's for sure. I did not hear yeah, that's that. Booked. No shit. Yeah. Dude, Sterling's got to be in place then. It's got to be. I hope so. Garbrandt's coming off fucking three losses. I know. I know. He's, they're giving him a fucking shot at the rank number one guy. Oh, my God. I think Garbrandt's going to get lit up anyways. Marais is way better than that one. Bro. So, anyways, uh, Sterling's lost to Marais, so either one of those guys do deserve it. But <sighs> going off, like, lately, it's all Sterling. It's dude. all Sterling. Yeah. It's all Sterling right now. Like, this is just... If Sterling doesn't get the title fight, I'm gonna be super upset. Yeah, I would I've been, love to I've see been, it. I've been fucking telling. So, I, you, about so you got Aljamain. Sterling. I'm guessing that dude, happens. Dude, John's bad, bro. I dude, don't know if I got but, Sterling in but that there's one. A, there's, but there's a little bad blood. Yeah, dude, you know what I'm saying. Like, i that would be such a good fight. So I like such a good I, fight. it's an amazing fight. I, such a good fight. Sterling's like I'm all hype. I'm on your hype with him too, but now I'm kind of sold on Peter Jan after that. Dude. I think. I'm more sold than ever on him. Do you remember what uh, Aljamain Sterling's last fight? Yeah, he just destroyed dude. that dude. In, like, the first round, like, what, like, 30, 40, 45 yeah. seconds? He fucked homeboy up. Yeah, it's going to be a, definitely a weird, a crazy fight because Sterling's so unorthodox. Well, Sterling, just the pressure that he put on, uh, what was his name, San Hagen? Yeah. Some shit like that. <laughs> Who the fuck is he now? <laughs> Who the fuck is, <laughs> is he? Is that guy's gone? Bro, the pressure that Aljamain Sterling put on that, go- put on that dude, if he... I don't know his what his game plan would be versus Peter Yan, but man, yeah, I see it as just being such a banger, bro, straight I, banger. And I think yeah. Sterling, being the more technical fighter, would be able to find a lot more openings because Peter Yan is not perfect in that's in the stand up. Mm-hmm. He hits hard. He's very, he's good. Mm-hmm. He's good. Sterling's better. Well, the thing that Yan brings problems is his hands are fucking great, dude. Yeah, his boxing skills are phenomenal. So I don't know if Sterling's going to be able to outbox him. It's going to be like kick game on Sterling and hands on Peter Yan. But Sterling has a more of an arsenal. He him. does. Peter Yan, not so much. We'll have to break it down when yeah. it comes, but it should Dude, come next. It's got to be Sterling, bro. It should come. You just gave me a glimmer of hope when I you said so, Garbrandt yeah. versus Morales. I hope it's not that, not the fight to set up the next. No, there's no know? way. There's no way. But that'd be nice, man. That'd be yeah. nice. Well, I want to take a quick break. All right. I got to get a beer, bro. Okay. We'll be All right. right. We'll be right back. And we are back with the MMA Neighborhood. I'm Steven. I'm Devin. 
and we're going over continuing our preview post no, post, post post sorry of UFC 251 and now we're going to go into the co-main event right now Ooh. Alexander Volkanovsky versus Max Holloway yes and wow holy shit dude this one <sighs> i would say is the most interesting one on the card this one at least the turnout and uh great fight man i thought it was awesome i think I, max holloway fucking brought it this time bro hands down dude he was fight everything that he did wrong the last fight mm -hmm. you know this fight he actually had a game plan yeah and it totally showed remember in the preview that i said did volkanovsky's game plan look so well because holloway didn't have one mm -hmm. and i think that's exactly it yeah i you think you can tell he definitely made a game plan this time huh? oh yeah and he he was able to check the the leg kicks weren't really a big factor in this one Mm -hmm. For Volkanovski versus Holloway, it was mm -hmm. not a big factor. Well, I think it was, but it wasn't as much. I, he still landed some nice ones, but, but it's, it seemed like Holloway was giving them back this time. Yeah, Holloway was able to find openings where he couldn't in the first fight. Right. You know, it was just so much. It was it was a 180, you know, that he mm -hmm. did in this Holloway's fight. Holloway's fucking kick game was amazing in this oh. fight. Dude. He was kicking more. He landed that head kick in the first round, I believe. Wobbled fucking Wokonoski. I thought he could have finished him right Dude. there. And there was times where, like, I saw the old, like, old Max Holloway because he, he he had a little slump for mm -hmm. pa his past couple of fights. He had a little slump. But this one, he was, like, kind of, like, you know, pumping his chest up, like, oh, let's go and shit, yeah. you know? He, he was in this. Definitely. In this fight. Definitely. And you know what? I thought, hands down, Hands the fuck down. I've watched this fight twice. Holy shit. Watched this fight twice. Yeah. And I, the first time I was like, Holloway 3 2. Uh huh. Holloway 3 2. Second time, fuck. Holloway possibly even 4 to 1. No way. Possibly. Wow. 3 to 2, for sure. Uh, dude, I, 3 to 2, possibly 4 1. But they still gave it to Volkanovsky in a decision. And I'm, perplexed like some others not everyone I've seen sees a lot it. though people. not everyone sees this because i've been reading a lot to how people have been have been saying mm -hmm. like look you guys say it's a robbery but if you you know i watched the fight twice they're saying if you watch the fight again you'll see volkanovsky did enough do mm -hmm. you agree what, what, what what's your take on that part dude i mean if you're gonna i don't know these are so tight if you're gonna make it that tight make it a draw because it's like come on i i had it the same as you i believe first time Watching it, I only got to watch it one time. So three, two, you got Holloway. Three, two. Yeah, first three Holloway, last two Volkanovski. Now, if I can go back to watch it, I want to watch that third round because no matter what, those first two are Holloway. Come on now, he's wrecking yeah. Volkanovski. He yes. almost finished him twice. He had him on ice skates. Mm -hmm. he, twice he fucking rocked Volkanovski. Mm -hmm. One time with a head kick, another just a straight. It was a combination in the pocket. Yeah, yeah, and I mean. Honestly, I, I think Holloway got robbed too, but it was tight. I The reason why I think they gave it to him is because of fucking Volkanovski's takedown on the last two rounds. He took him down for a little bit at the end of the round. Maybe mm. edged it with that, which is a shitty way to win it. Well, my thing is, the first two rounds, as you said, all Holloway. Yeah. Like, hands down, right? Yeah. Would you say that same thing for four rounds four and five for Volkanovski? I Do think you think they were... Totally not Alexander. hands down, but I think he edged four and five. But three, I thought all the way won three. I don't know where Volkanovski won that round. And yeah, I believe Holloway won that fight, to be honest. What do you guys think? It may never. This is very uh, controversial. The Holloway come back and beat him because I was impressed as fuck. I was impressed. Holloway, yes, I was sleeping on him, man. I thought he was gonna maybe not show up, and he did. He showed up and. I loved how anything Volkanovski did, he kind of mirror fought him. So anytime Volkanovski throw a punch, he throw the same one. Yeah. He's like, okay, I can do that too. Yeah. And it's like anything Volkanovski could throw at him, he threw it right back, matched it, and then added more. So. Yeah. And like, don't people listening, don't even trip on me because I know I picked Volkanovski to win. I did too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I I saw it. I I saw it happening the first time mm -hmm. around. You know what I'm saying? I was completely fucking wrong, and I'm glad I'm wrong. Yeah. I did want, like, but 
you know, kind of. I thought I was. I thought I was thinking logically, but damn, I was, <laughs> well, I was fucking wrong, dude. dude Max, I thought Max Holloway just did enough. I think so too. Like, I thought uh, just you're gonna win the fight off a of fucking takedown. I don't know. Yeah, it's just come know. on. And I don't even remember, like, the, I don't remember the takedowns, him doing the, all he that He didn't much. do anything with them at all. It was just, like, a holding you down and for see, a And that, see, that goes back to the old fucking topic of, does that, should that count as a big uh, addition into the score? Well, I'm going to say something you might hate. <laughs> oh, shit. What, what are you about to say? I don't want to bring up any past bad feelings, but remember the time GSP fought Jenny Hen- Johnny Hendricks? Oh, I think this is kind of similar. What? Because <laughs> Johnny Hendricks was whooping GSP's ass, and then the last three rounds he coasted a little bit, and Johnny, Johnny uh, GSP got a couple takedowns and won kind of by like fucking somehow he won, but they didn't really do any damage. <sighs> and Man, that's you're, going, you're, you're, you're pulling some <laughs> shit from way back, way but back. That's in how the I was day. like, all the way beat this fool's ass two rounds, kind of coasted, but was still winning. And then, uh, fucking, you know, Volkanovski gets a couple takedowns. Totally And different. wins it. I don't know, dude. Totally fucking different. I think GSP didn't win that fight either. And Johnny Hendricks got robbed, too. But that's that's just me. Ma- you just know what? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to say to you right now, dog. I think Holly got robbed. Johnny Hendricks got robbed. It, it jo- happens. Fu- Johnny Hendricks was fucking juicing. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I give him that. That's just bad karma. That's what that's he looked right. demonic that night. He but was juiced the fuck up. He was to with the it, kills, bro. He was winning that See shit. the juice coming out of his fucking eyeballs, dog. All right, let's get back to it though. How, <laughs> where does Holloway go? What they need to make a fucking answer rematch? What do we do? He can't do a trilogy. Can he, he sell that? You can't. You can't. So Holloway just needs to be one beats one motherfucker. Volkanovski fights one guy. Yeah, but damn man, I feel. Who do you even give Max Holloway right now? I feel like everyone's kind of spoken for. Um, I just seen a fight last week and not give him that. Who? Cater. What? Cater, bro. Let's see it. Max Holiday. Max bro. Holiday would wreck Let's see it, dude. He would wreck homeboy. Cater, bro. Cater he just came off a win off IG IG. <laughs> he barely won. Barely won, won any. But he knocked won. out Jeremy Stevens with that beautiful elbow. Could be a potential knockout of the year. It's up there. Ugh. And you know. uh the guy's got good boxing, bro. I mean, I sure. want to see it. You know what? Good range too. You know what? Sure. Good give, fight. give Cater Max Holloway. Yeah, let's we'll see and it. See how fast everyone regrets it, including uh, Cater. Let's give him Cater, dude. Why not? Dude, Zabi's well. always there too, but I think Zabi should be next for a title. You think? Yeah. Cause he beat Cater and he's beat everybody. He's undefeated, I think. Fuck. All right. He's lost for one time, but Abe anyway. Lincoln versus fucking I mean, Alexander the Great. Yeah. That would be a sick. Yeah, if Cater's like in there though. If Cater beats Holloway, that's perfect. It no lines. way, no it, way. But either one of them, one of them deserves it. Fifty bucks on the fucking Cater. table right now. Um, Fifty bucks, dog. That, no. Twenty bucks. No. Twenty bucks. No. First of all, they have to make the fight. I'm not first. saying he wins. I just say it's a great fight. It's a good matchup. You, you, I, you, I, I still think, decide who I think I wins. Think you want? <laughs> you think Cater will win? No, I really like the matchup. They're rangy guys and they got good boxing. I'm kind of Max Holloway. And Cater's coming up. Max no. Holloway just barely lost, shouldn't have lost. Mm-hmm. And you know, if he if he's champ, he's got to fight him anyway. So let's see it. All right, let's see it, dude. All right. Vulcan Nasi fights Abe Lincoln. Oh, I like that. Fucking might as well. Oh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Ortega's fighting Korean Zombie. Finally, it's just packed right there. Dude, fuck yeah. That's what I'm saying. I kind of thought everyone was spoken for, but I was wrong. Yeah, it's pretty hot. But uh, not as hot, or was it hot? I don't know. The main, <laughs> the main <laughs> events Baby. of the evening. Come on, come on. Yeah, we got <laughs> Usman versus Masvidal. I like that. Yeah, we want. <laughs> yeah. We wanted this. We did, but we didn't want what happened. Well, let's speak the obvious. Six yeah. days notice. Six days notice. That's what you give this. That's what the excuse Fuck is. Yeah, dude. No, let's speak the obvious. Ki- Usman's just a great superior grappler. Well, hold the f- 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 hold <laughs> got me stuttering over here. All dog. right, I look. Did he look? Six days notice. Masvidal. He stuffed a lot more than people thought. True. Didn't think he would. True. I think with a full fight camp, I'm on that. I'm on that. You know, You're on the training stuff. On that mentality of thinking, if if Masvidal had a full training camp, mm-hmm. I think it would be a different story. Yeah, you might be right. Um, six days, dog. Mm. 
Yeah, he thing. looked great. He didn't do bad the first round. He did The first round he came out, he's hitting he's hitting Usman pretty hard. He's lighting him up a little bit. Yeah. Usman's like, fuck that. I ain't going to do stand up no more. A second. This is all Usman's fault, man. This is It's a little bit of Masvidal, but Usman, this is, oh, I cannot stand this, dude. He's uh, holding them on the cage. He's fucking foot stomping. He's doing nothing. He's barely tagging them. There's nothing finishing. No, None of the strikes are finishing moves. Yeah. And uh, he's just wearing out the clock. What was Usman's last fight, Evan? It was a great fight. What Against was his Kobe. last? What was Usman's last fight? Fight of the year. That, what, versus them. Colby, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, people listening at home, mm-hmm. Col- Devin was on the Usman train after that fight. <laughs> and then the next fight is one of these kinds of fights, and bam, he is right the back off. You know, they got to hop around right a little bit. Off. Like He's right the back off. Hopping around a little bit, man. Bro, no, you know I what, dude? And I'm mad I got on the train. It, <laughs> <laughs> look. I'm mad, not necessarily at Usman, but kind of, kind of. Look, there's wrestlers. There's pure wrestlers that make good, interesting fights. Mm-hmm. Khabib to be one of them. He gra- he wrestles, sir, sure, but he's ground pounding. He's beating you the fuck up. Right. You know, GSP for a moment in time, you know. There are mm-hmm. pure wrestlers. Fucking, what, would you consider DC a wrestler? Yeah. Pure wrestler? Yeah, DC, even though I don't like him that much. Mm-hmm. He still puts on some interesting fights, right? When you know when he's not cushioning the record, uh, Usman just doesn't do that. Mm-hmm. He had that one good fight versus Woodley. He didn't, and and, and Colby, and Colby, and that's those so he two. Looked, that's why I got a little. That's why I got a little sold because he had two great fights. I was like, all right, this guy's not. He's not going to play super forty percent safe. Whatever the hell he's doing. Mm-hmm. Then Mazal comes in hungry. Wants to eat that full up. Yep. Comes in firing off. Now he said, oh, I'm going back to 40%. I'm yeah. going to go back to hold Kate, holding him against Cage. Randy Couture style, some would the say. Clinch. But a little even less than that. Just not nothing happened. You can play the ref on this as well. What the heck is he doing? Ten minutes of clinch? Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of <laughs> here, dude. Those, those foot stomps, dog. Oh, man. That's not action, dude. No. If he's you, not trying to finish the fight, then that's not action. Do you even consider foot stomps like – as hits? No. To me, if you're not throwing strike ending blows, this is not action. You're just beating the clock. I can hold you on occasion, just touch your body a little bit, but none of them are even not effective. Doing, not doing anything. Then what, how is that a fight? That's really just control and eliminates all the aspects of the fight to me. Yeah. I know Joe Rogan praises this style like a lot. It's hard to watch and maybe you should be praised because the guy didn't get take no damage. But to me, it's a fight. And if you're not giving damage, mm-hmm. you're really not – and you didn't take any damage, that's not a fight. That's That just got stale as fuck, you know? Yeah. If you're giving heavy damage and taking no damage, that's great. Yeah. But he wasn't landing anything heavy. There was no part where he, Maswell got hurt. There's no blood. There's no cuts. There's no beat. Nothing. It was, I think he got – I think Maswell got a cut on his – Okay. On a his, little, on oh, his yeah, eye, he did. Eyebrow. He got a little cut. Got a cut. He got a little cut. But like, well, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. I you know for a just bleed fan. Oh Jesus! I'm so it wasn't sorry. enough blood. Thank okay, you that for finally, <laughs> thank you for finally admitting it. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm sold. On, I'm just bleeding now. Oh so. God! If you can't bleed, get out of here. <laughs> can't make the guy bleed, get out. Of here. But yeah, baby cuts don't work for me, dude. I I hated this fight. It sucked. I was so disappointed. Well, so this is where I'm talking about the six day notice thing. You know, Masvidal went out there and just tried to knock this dude's head off, mm-hmm. and. You know, if he planned a little more, if he had a full training camp, do you think he would just go out there and just fucking just go wild and out on him? Probably not. He'd be a little more patient. Mm-hmm. But six days notice, what's what's his? He has no, really nothing, nothing to lose. lose. So it he almost might, worked. He might as well have yeah. just gone out there. What he did, which he did, is yeah. just tr- try to get just try to get that lucky blow on him. Yep. And it just didn't happen. You're right. You gotta give him ball props. Six day notice. Uh, did survive the first onslaught of takedowns, was able to get right back up. The, he's, exactly. Yeah, he was doing real great takedown defense. And yeah. Usman's like, well, I can't take him down. I'm just going to hold him against Cage. Exactly. So I don't blame Mazda on this, dude. I'm fucking just pissed that it wasn't the fight we were wanting. Yeah. And I'm pissed that, that Usman can do that strategy as he pleases. And what my question is to you, who beats this guy? Because I want him out of there. And is it GSP? Does he get what he's asking for? Well, Usman called out GSP. Yeah. Come on, GSP. Please Bro, save us. I, 
from I was that. reading these comments saying like, do you, what a what a you know, lame like lame ass fucking for Usman to call out someone retired. Mm-hmm. I was like, first of all, that retired fighter would own, own, money on the fucking table, own the welterweight division mm-hmm. right now, hands the fuck down. See, GSP used to have some lackluster fights as well, but I don't think I've ever seen one like this. No. At least GSP works to jab, you know. He's, yeah. Like, he... I think his jab would fuck Usman up, uh, dude. Uh, yeah. Especially think, after we saw Jizz being... Jizz being... Jizz being... That's a GSP. That's a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I'm sorry, dog. I'm, I'm tired, bro. G- GSP versus fucking Biz being... <laughs> Oh, that was an amazing fight. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Just be good. Just be. Yeah, that was amazing. I think Just be killed it in that well, fight. He looked amazing. Like, it was the best fight ever. After seen. coming back from like, what, three or four years of retirement, come yeah. back and win the middleweight? Yeah, that's amazing. Dude, he needs to. GSP, I want him to come back so bad. Well, interesting fact. I'm going to pull the John Anik. Um, oh, I think they're uh, same. They're tied for same wins in welterweight division, most wins. E- yeah, I think so. So GSP has to beat him right now, dude. <laughs> so he could never beat him. I'd be. That's so- why that was his oh. good. It was a good point on his part to tell GSP that it's like, hey, if one more and I beat you, bro. So GSP beats him, and he can never beat GSP's record. That's right. If he does come back, dude. Isn't that kind of nuts? GSP needs to come back and he's got. It. He's gonna let him pass. Let that guy pass him up by holding people against Cage. Dog. He's gonna let him hold people against Cage and win, beat his record. At least GSP Fuck when that. when he when the fights were like boring. Yeah. I wouldn't say ever boring, but they seemed a little more interesting. They than were. That. that was horrible. You know what, dude? They gotta have a different ref. You can't. How's a ref let him ten minutes of clinch and just foot stomps? Oh, dude. I don't like so that. Like he's just holding on to him. Mm-hmm. It's just, I didn't like it. No well, one liked well, it. So what's GSP is a fantasy fight. Let's be yeah. real. What about a real fight that can happen? Uh, Anybody on the list? Man, Gilbert Burns, I guess. I guess he's next, huh? I guess. He he was supposed to get You're it. You're right. But who knows how long he's gonna he's gonna be sick for? Probably shouldn't be long. You're right. He needs he deserves it. I like I like the matchup. Gil Burns has amazing jujitsu. Yeah. So so the grappling <coughs> could even out. And then Gilbert Burns has hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'd be a good Not fight. Bad. It'd be a good fight. I kind of want to see Wonder Boy in there. What? I know it's weird. But he can just move. Move and stay away from the clinch. Wonder Boy needs a win, dog. He does. He just came off Luke. A. That Luke win? Oh, yeah. yeah, he needs another one. <laughs> what about rematch Wonder Boy and Jorge? Jorge's wanted that Wonder rematch. Ba- Wonder Boy versus Jorge? Yeah, the rematch. Okay. Uh, okay, I heard people talking that. And that makes no sense for Jorge Masvidal. He wants it. He does? Yeah, because he lost him. I mean, I guess if he wants it, sure. And I heard a bunch of people saying, make a... Nate Diaz versus Masvidal again. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Just, that's just the fight. Everyone. But what? Why do people want to just see that again? Entertainment. Entertainment. So dumb. Alone. Entertainment, so dumb. dude. If Masvidal wants Wonder Boy, sure. What about Kobe Masvidal? I mean that that would be a better fight. Yeah. In my eyes, way better fight. There's a there's a bunch of fights all up in there. Like right now. they're both coming off losses from Usman. Yeah. So I that think Kobe or Wonder Boy should be it. I think Colby would be a fucking cool Usman's got to fight Burns. That's what's fair. Yeah. Hopefully Burns fucking gets his ass, dude. I mean, I think that would be a funner fight than now after seeing Masvidal fight Usman. Yeah. I think that Gilbert Burns fight might. He's got a grappling yeah. aspect so he doesn't just get held against Cage. Yeah. He's got to have someone that's grapple worthy. Yeah. But well, yeah, it, was, it wasn't too bad. That yeah. was a stinker, but the rest of the card was hot. Yeah. And we got a hot one coming, coming like August, I believe. Yeah. What's that's that? The, that's the Stipe Miocic. Oh. This is DC Trilogy, baby. Dude, the Trilogy so fight. So hopefully that doesn't get fucked up. Dude, yes. And we get to see that one, and we'll do our preview, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Follow us on the IG MMA Neighborhood underscore Graham. Follow us on the YouTube MMA Neighborhood. And you know, let us know your uh, what you think uh, should have happened. You know, that Rose Namahoon is one. Oh, whatever. <laughs> let us whatever. know if, uh, who sh- who should fight Usman next. 
Let us know anything you want. We are here. It's the MA Neighborhood. That's right. And I'm Steven. I'm Devin. Peace. Mate.